Hey guys, welcome to our spectacular web browser series of tutorials. Over the series, we're going to be going over three different web browsers on Android devices. Doesn't matter, ranges from tablet to smartphone, they'll work for all of them. So, to start off the series, we're going to be going over Dolphin Browser. But throughout the series, we're going to be going over Dolphin Browser, Opera, as well as Firefox. So, Dolphin Browser is personally one of my favorites. Just because the UI, the user interface to it, is just so clean and so precise. They, you can tell they put a really nice, good job into designing the app and making it user friendly. So, as you can see here, doesn't look a little doesn't look much different at first but when you click the menu the menu thing um, you can see it totally changes it shows you it's really nice and easy to have tabs now in the normal um, web browser that it's pre-installed on the Android devices it's kind of hard to navigate your way through the tabs I don't know that's just a problem I've had on my smartphone but I don't know, it might be a problem for you guys too, so now they have nice little tabs up here and it's easy to navigate through and just really nice, so let's add a new tab here. As you can see, it just adds a nice little tab and the UI, user interface, just reminds me kind of a phone book, like a, an address book, phone book kind of thing. Just the tabs to it, which is pretty nice, so nice tabs here and just look at those nice bottom buttons right here just really nice clean look to it I like it a lot so here you can see that on the bottom left corner I don't think you guys can see that but it's just like a little finger pointing and what's really cool is that finger pointing when you click on it it asks for a gesture and you preload these gestures well you don't really preload them, you can do them in the app and you make gestures for different sites. So say I wanted to go to Google, I made a gesture that if I draw a G, it will take me to Google. So I'll draw a G row here and it's taking me to Google right now. And you can preload all those different um, gestures. So say you really like Twitter, you can draw a T and it'll take you to Twitter and you can just preset them however you want and I like that a lot it's really easy and there's some also there's some hidden kind of gestures that I haven't figured out yet there's you can do a back gesture a forward gesture a top of page gesture bottom of page but I haven't really figured all those out I'm pretty sure uh, bottom of the page is a U yeah it is and then top of the page oops top of the page is an like a thing, a little hill, and a back button. What I found, I think it is a three. Oh no, add a bookmark to the three. And yeah, you just play around, get to know the gestures. It's really cool. I'm sure there's a site that tells you all the gestures, but I haven't looked into that yet. But it's really quick, it's really fast, it's a lot faster than the classic um, internet browser that's pre-installed on the Android devices that I found. But I think it's much quicker, a lot easier to navigate your way around, and I just like using it a lot better. I set it to my, my default just because I really like using this one. And you can have your little toolbar right here. Um, you can get more add-ons are available. Go here. It'll take you to dolphinbrowser.com or whatever it is. And you can see here you can get new little add-ons for the Dolphin Browser. Like you can add a nice little add-on near me, never get lost again. It's kind of like navigation-ish thing. Dolphin Translate, translate the whole word or page into a different language, which is pretty cool for you foreign people out there. So, it's pretty neat, and I think you guys will like it a lot, too. And that's Dolphin Browser. It's a free app on the Android market. And, yeah, my, 
might as well just check it out. It's free, so go for it. Thanks for watching.